Hi, my name's Ruth Childs. Some of you probably already know me because of the very successful work that I've been doing in curing focal dystonia. In my last video, I uh, presented in general terms the book that I'm really excited to be publishing at the end of March on how to cure focal dystonia. The, um, and today I wanted to talk in particular about part one of that book. So uh, part one of the book is about the physiological changes that have happened in your brain that are causing the focal dystonia. But it may surprise you that they're not physiological changes to do with um, the motor movement part of the brain. They're actually uh, physiological changes that have put your nervous system into survival mode. Now, when it's in survival mode for too long, what happens with focal dystonia is that that then flips into, or the body starts to flip into some of its very primordial survival movements. And they're automated movements, we can't control them. So they include, for instance, the hypercontraction and hyperextension of the fingers. Some of you might have that in just one or more fingers. Some of you might have hyperextension and a hypercontraction going on in different fingers at the same time. They also include things that are happening in the embouchure, like the muscles of the moving backwards, the tongue moving upwards and backwards, um, uh, constriction in the throat and in the breathing. Um, and loss of control of these muscles at the side of the mouth as well, which causes an escaping of air. I go into more detail of all the different movements and where they come from and why they're there. Now, I think this is really important because it takes our focus away from saying what I've got to do is resolve something that's happening in a particular area of my body to realise what I need to resolve is why is my nervous system in survival mode and bring it into safe mode. And as we do that, then the body doesn't need to do these primordial survival movements any longer. So those are the details that I go into in the first part of the book. Now, just to give you an overview and a context, in the second part of the book, I then, I then describe to you, so why? You know, what, why has your nervous system gone into survival mode so that you get the context of what we need to work on? And then in the third part of the book, um, why is you know, good enough to know, but we need to know how to resolve it as well. So in the third part of the book, I work, walk you through the very practical neuroplasticity exercises that, it, that enables you to resolve those changes in your brain, bring your nervous system into safe mode, and at the same time, release these survival movements in your body. So um, I'm so delighted to be publishing this book and I really, really hope that it serves you.